Redefine announced uh, this morning growth and distribution in a, on a cents per share basis of four cents growth on the previous financial period. Our total distributable income grew by 4.9%. Of that, 25% of our income growth is delivered by international uh, property portfolio. Certainly, as you mentioned, the local conditions is not uh, real estate friendly and it is a very tough operating environment from a letting perspective as well as from a cost control perspective where there's various factors, particularly the electricity tariff increases that's putting a lot of pressure on cost control. And then clearly, the, as most South Africans are anticipating, the elections of this coming Wednesday had a big bearing on local business and consumer confidence. It's almost as if people are holding their breath until such time as there's further clarity about which political direction the country is finally going to take into. One um, very important announcement we have made this morning was the appointment of Sipa Pachana as our new non-executive chairman. He's replacing Mark Weiner as the executive chairman. That said though, Mark still will remain on the board as an executive director and will be available to Redefine's management team as well as to our stakeholders to guide us through in particular the volatile time we've experienced ourselves in at the moment. From the investment front, we deployed 2.2 billion rands worth of capital on the development front. Of that, 900 million was deployed offshore in our logistics portfolio in, in Poland. And locally, we continue to look and maintain the assets um, that has served as well so far. As I said, the investment fundamentals is not necessarily conducive at the moment um, within the portfolio. So from an expansion point of view, very limited activity. However, it's more focusing on maintaining those assets we do have to make sure that once the cycle turns, they are able to produce as expected. So we believe we'll be able to maintain the growth rate of 4% per share for the remainder of this, this year. And certainly, as I mentioned, we're hoping that post the elections, there's certain, some level of business confidence will return. And uh, we're certainly looking forward to a, a more prosperous 2020, particularly from a local perspective. So as things stand at the moment, we anticipate that, that growth will continue on a similar path on 2020, but obviously all dependent on what's going to happen to local economic conditions.